farmer, the DC 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 farmer, used to get my piece from AZ. What's up, y'all? It's your boy DC farmer. Welcome back to another show of the DC farmer show. Got my man here, Dope Boy and Dane. As always, every Monday night, well, they ain't went with us last week. He, he <laughs> tapped out last week. He was sick. But um, I definitely understand. I'm definitely back, baby. I, I appreciate that you wasn't even trying to spread the love. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the, uh, t- today's guest, we got, we have an artist with us today. So I'm a very special um, guest today. Um, great artist. So if you guys are looking for some artwork and stuff to get done or anything creative for your events or your environment that you that you may be in. Stay tuned. He'll give you all the information that you need to know. And um, I wanted to send a couple shout outs this week. Um, one for um, Elevated Roots Academy. They finally got their um, academy up and running. They're going to have a soft opening on October the 20th. So anybody interested in that, uh, make sure you go check them out. Elevated Roots Academy. Um, they're definitely going to have some... Um, Free gifts and all that for the people showing up, you know, packages or whatever the case may be. So definitely something to look into. Um, just uh, for any more information on that, look up Capital Skunk on IG, Capital Skunk. So um, definitely look him up. And also, uh, DC, um, DC Scrogger. He's got a, a domestic, uh, a domestic, what's it? Uh, dom- the go kart jump? Yeah, against, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, against yeah, yeah. domestic violence. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, women against domestic violence or something like that. But uh, it's definitely going to be a, a tight ass event right there. That's going to be October the 26th. Um, the question is can we smoke weed? That's, that's what I, I keep care. asking, man. That's, that's all I keep asking. But for Stoner, I asked Stoner because Stoner, Stoner is, he like, he knows the ins and outs of all the stuff. Okay. Where you can, you can smoke and all that. But Stoner gave me, he kind of gave me his answer, like shit that I would probably do. <laughs> so I don't know if you could do this, but Stoner made a point. Who's going to stop me when I'm balling in this gold car? Right, right, no bullshit. <laughs> right, exactly. So, uh, yeah, he's got a dope-ass event at the RFK, man, October 26th. Um, it's a go-kart event. Um, I think he still got slots open, he said. So you can actually build your own team. Is it of eight, Stoner? Yeah. Team of eight. Um, the fee is only like $200 to have your own team, to represent your own brand. And you bring your own team of eight to race uh, to race against whoever else team is out there. But it, I think it's going to be a, a dope-ass event, man. Um, we're going to have all types of people out there. Man, I'm definitely going um, everybody That's gonna try to outdo each other. I asked, hey Stoner, man, I keep asking you questions. Grab that mic right quick, man, so so everybody can hear your response, man, if you don't mind. So, um, what up, big homie? I, 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 another question that I asked was, cause you know, I, I, I anybody that lived out here for a um, long period of time knows about the go kart track on Kenilworth Avenue, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. what I'm the question I got for you is, is it gonna be one of those go karts? Or is it gonna be something with some umph to it, something with some power it's to it? Be like, it's more, a little yeah. bit power to it, man. More like man, auto man, bomb. You can't, you can't do that. We dealing with stoners here, so oh, listen. Yeah. I hope y'all got hell of an insurance. Yeah. Like, yeah. but I, don't I, need I hope y'all don't get too high and your coordination be fucked up. It's but more see, like auto bomb, though. You might make a point because it might don't matter. Um, or you might gotta get closer to the mic too, dog boy. But it might don't even matter if you if you got some fast ass go kart because they probably gonna be going slow anyways, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, auto bomb got the fast shit, and you gotta wear the helmet. You gotta wear like the helmet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you gotta, gotta wear the helmets with this one, Stone. I, I, I can't confirm that. We can ask yeah. some questions. I can have some answers for you. Hey, hey, DC right, Sprague, man. Down. If if you out there listening, man, or if you could hear us, man, I, I know you ain't by the studio, but if you could give us a phone call to confirm some of the details, man, we'd greatly appreciate it. We'll put you on air. All right, I've been down there. I can tell you. What? What was that? Yeah, y'all gotta wear a helmet. You gotta wear a helmet. helmet. Yeah, yeah, it's a must. You and you gotta helmet. wear. You gotta watch a uh, uh, three minute video before you even drive the car. Well, well these jumps are probably like sixty miles per hour. These jumps are they fast. fast. They tell you. Like, you gotta watch a fast. video because the go kart is yeah. fast, man. Yeah. Shit, yeah. you gotta go and stop button, man. What you gonna do? Man, a lot of people ain't used to them. You Kill yourself, man? bullshit. Yeah. Shit. My most quick. I, mean, I know a lot of people know where the gas and the brake is. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people know how to dust all 12, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, much. That's all you need to know. Yeah, you just can't be scared to drive them little things, man. <laughs> That's all. 
But I, I, if it's going to be all that to it, man, you got to wear helmets. I'm guessing that the cards is going to be fast. Like I said, it's going to be a dope-ass event. Um, shout out to everybody in chat, if I ain't get to say that yet. Mr. J-Rock, Robbie Fox, and everybody else listening. Appreciate you for tuning in. And again, what you rolling up there, though, boy? Uh, some forbidden fruit right here. Some forbidden fruit. Is mm-hmm. that what's in this jar right here? Yeah, that's what's in there. It look good, too. So how can, uh, you know, oh, man. You know, people that's curious about getting forbidden fruit. Oh, man, A1 Doughboy, man. You, you know, IG. <laughs> and it Hold on, you got to get on the mic. They can't hear you, A1 man. A1 Doughboy on IG, man. I pull up on you. You know what I mean? Oh, look. Uber. Yeah. He's the Uber man. He said he'll pull up on you, so you ain't even got to inconvenience hey, yourself. I don't care where you at. DC, the only place where a pull up is a threat or an invite, yo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, no it depends ways. on what you pull it up with. That's right. Look, I don't, I don't care what the situation is, you better be ready. <laughs> That's all I can say. Nah, nah, definitely customer service is a <clears> must, though, uh, man. But yeah, man, I got Silver Haze, Headband. I got, uh, I got a couple of little strings, man. You DM me, man. We can talk. What's your number one seller right now? Uh, I'm going to say the, the the headband. The headband? There it is, y'all. The headband. What you smoking on over there? Shit, I don't even know. <laughs> he told me it was some type of OG, but this shit is good as shit, though. Yeah, we got some I don't know in the corner. Yeah. yeah. I got. I'm smoking on some uh, uh, Gelato 33. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that, yeah. that's my shit Have right anybody here. hit the 41 yet? If anybody know where to get Gelato 41, can y'all please DM me? What's up I don't care what the number is right. on it. <laughs> Whatever the number is on it, I'm paying it. Well, what's, the, what's up with the 41, man? I don't know, Both man. I just keep hearing all the... You know, you know, all the young niggas hip you to everything. You know, all the music. You know, that's how that go. I keep hearing about this 41. I done had 33. You know, I done had Cookie Gelato. I done had all that gelato. I just haven't had 41 yet. So, you know it. A1 underscore Doughboy, man. Hit me. Mm, it is. You're going to have a whole bunch of people hitting you with some just regular OG talking about it some 41. <laughs> hey, look, I'm from the streets, so I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> can anybody differentiate from that nowadays, man? I mean, yeah, you can, especially when you hit it. Like, it's, it's always a different Yeah, I mean, now, see, but I, I guess once you get to that point, it might be too late. You done already made your purse. Oh, no, nah, because I, I always, listen, if, all right, well, let me say this. If you're not allowing me to test first, don't DM me. Right, right. Because <laughs> right. I want to hit something first. And all Thank that, God. I don't smoke and all that. I don't want to hit that. Yeah, yeah. That's how I be with my mind sometimes, man. Like, you know, I say, again, here go with the Reggie, y'all. Yes, I do deal with the Reggie. Mm. Uh-huh. I have older <laughs> medical patients that still like Reggie. Oh, no. I must confess. Riz, he ain't like Reggie. This is some good. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. That's some I don't know. That's so, that I don't know. It's so good, I don't know. I don't know. The mystery be the good one sometimes, right? <laughs> but anyway, right, so so sometimes when I holler at him, right, he, he don't be so great with the pack. He be good with the Reggie, right? <laughs> so when he get pack, he be like, I got some fire, man. I got some fire. I, I bring you sample. I bring you sample. So I'm like, oh, okay. Every time you sample that shit, though, I'm like, nigga, is this the Reggie or the pack, though? No. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank so good for one thing, but not for the other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So uh, if you got a Reggie man, don't buy a pack from him. <laughs> he might be selling you some high price or some, or some good some price. good Reggie. Nah, there ain't no good Reggie. We all know what that is. That's that kind, bud. You was just talking about, because uh, I, I was trying to get a guest on today, man. Hopefully, uh, reach out to me. I wanted to talk about what you was talking about earlier um, today, um, but mainly about clean meds um, or clean yeah, cannabis. Yeah, yeah. And you was saying something that you seen something online about the strain called Agent Orange? Nah, it was uh, Orange Cookies. Orange Cookies? Let me see. Orange Cookies? Yeah. yeah. yeah man. I heard of Agent Orange. This shit was wild. Like, it said probably horrible. Shit looked like It was hard rock. as a rock. Like, mm-hmm. like watch, watch that. Watch what, what, what you about to see, boy. That's not bud. See that? Mm. It was there. I don't know. Straight the kind knocking the door. Pick this up, is it? Nah, they, well, what's the, what's the, um, what's well, the handle on that? Seen. Uh, it's, uh, Velk underscore one, V E L K underscore one. It's now it's a fucking orange cookies. This fucker, you can see the video if y'all mind say it got, it it's, up. it's some poison, and then they say it got harmful substance in it. Yeah, man. And they say this shit so hard it can break, break a window. window. 
Like you can Damn. throw this shit and break a window, but it's supposed it to be. It sounds solid gas. as a fucking rock. Yeah. This shit crazy. But if that shit that hard, I wouldn't even want to smoke it. You better not I mean, shell you me not like that. You that's what I'm gonna, my, what I'm gonna ask is how you selling it? Cause a pound gotta look like what? Man, Two that, ounces? That pound gonna be heavy as a motherfucker. Yeah, that yeah. pound gonna be heavy as shit. Hell yeah. I, I don't know, it might be fluffy and heavy. It's hard like that though. You never know. <laughs> that shit he might said be, fluffy and heavy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Cause that shit look, damn. Some confusion. This is some. That's the ghetto knock. With the butter weed. Ghetto knock. Mm. I'll just say the mic pick that shit up. But anyways, man, I wanted to talk about that clean meds and all that. So hopefully when we get that guest in the future, man, hopefully reach back, we get to talk about that. Um, Because it's also that time of the month where the weather's changing. Mm. Fall is coming in. So and all you growers know, the, the experienced growers know this time of the season. And this is what PM likes to sit in. This is when... the um, you get them russet mites or whatever kind of mites or the aphids. Uh -huh. you, this is where you get, like, a lot of the infestations start to happen, man. You know what Dang. I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah, it's cold outside. They yeah, to yeah, more. yeah. You know, the, and, and the weather changing and the, the humidity factor, your environment and, and your grow room. So, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to touch on as well, right? So, like I said, it's the time of the month for y'all growers, your true growers out there and those that are really trying is to keep an eye on your garden, man. You don't want to be ending up with shit that got a whole yeah. bunch of fucking eggs and fungus and, and yeah and Man. dead bugs and Man. dust mites <laughs> <laughs> and you want to stay away from the powdery mildew man because some of y'all mistake that shit for trichomes on y'all buds and it's not uh, it's fucking straight up poison. It's gonna make you sick. It's gonna fuck you up. Yeah, respiratory effect. It, I've been talking about this since I got on the show. Man. It's not trichomes, y'all. If the shit looks like fucking powdered powdered donuts in the motherfucker, it's not fucking trichomes, man. It's powdery mildew. So, like I said, man, keep an eye on your environment. Do what you can. If you um, if the heat gets too, or if the temperature gets too low at night, do what you can to keep your heat up. Or, man, they get you an AC. Yeah, man, look, like I said, it's so important, it's man. That's the only time. way you're going to grow good, clean meds is by keep upkeeping your environment, man, and, and keeping control of that. So this is something that you really want to keep in tune with at this time of the year or whatever. And, um, you know, to be smoking some good medicine. Because yeah. I done had some shit that'll fuck you up, give you some badass head. Well, what's, the worst, <laughs> what's the worst reaction you had from, from some not-so-great headache? Uh, yeah, me too, man. You talking about like symptoms? Yeah, yeah. Man, I've had to can't be shit. In the house crying because a nigga can't shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be concentrated, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. I swear to God, snow, my baby, look, my girl is soaking me in some goddamn hot water. Yeah, I mean, make sure a nigga. Yeah. Man, fuck all <laughs> that. Know. I ain't, but I, it's been like two years since I smoked it, so, you know what I mean? I've been making sure I, but see, that since I've been growing marijuana, I didn't really got to know it. Like, I got niggas right, calling right, me, right. like, man, pull up on me, bro, I need you to show me what this is, or tell me what this is. But first, I got to hit it. Now, if a nigga ain't trying to bust it open and let me smoke it, I you think know some huff. I think that's one of the benefits of um, shit being legal now, man. Cause, yeah. You know, back then, it was get it how you can. Yeah. Now with so much shit flooding the market, right. you can actually, you know, you can see. Right, you yeah, now you can actually see or tell the difference somewhat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From some good shit and some bad shit, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But um I think that's one of the benefits of shit going legal, you know what I'm saying? There's also some disadvantages to the shit, but that's when anything with time with with, with change comes, you know. Different mm -hmm. shit that we gotta get used to. How y'all how how y'all shop for uh for gas? So like, what y'all look for? Oh, I go all the way to the bottom of the bag and pull the biggest bud out. I make sure it ain't no shape. Make sure it ain't no seeds. I bust it open. I look for the the discoloration uh, in the stem mm -hmm. of the weed because if the stem purple, I don't want it. You know, oh, that okay. mean the it's still you know, wet. Yeah. 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 And then not only that, a lot of plant, a lot of marijuana go through a lot of uh, hands and states. No, not even mm -hmm. that. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, like, 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 like people have a lot of diseases on their plants, you know. And they oh go yeah, through yeah, a lot yeah. Of, yeah. Through a lot of changes. When yeah, going you know through harvest. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? But see, you don't know how to end pro the end process. You know yeah, how to yeah, you know how they they cure it. Like I look at the like I 
always want to smoke it because I want to look at the ashes, make sure the ashes not black. You know, to make sure you flush your weed proper. You know, what I'm saying I'm looking for all that. I'm now, one thing to touch on the ashes thing too. Right now, you may have a strain or something. <laughs> a lot of the reasons, like if you're a soil grower, yeah, and I could just say this for like people that grow on soil, like if your ashes is coming out dark and shit, it's because you're missing some minerals in your soil. You know, some um, some amendments and all that that you might need to add into your soils and so and all that. There's yeah. something missing that is that you that you're not getting in your end result with the plant if you're burning black ashes. Right, right. So you know, like now for the chemicals, like for the people that grow synthetic, because now don't get me wrong, people that grow organically might get some um, black ashes. That's what I'm saying. You're lacking minerals. That's why I could speak on that now. For the synthetic worlds, they always say that you. You haven't flushed properly or you haven't flushed enough or whatever the case may be for people that are growing synthetically. So, um, But see, they also bust it down to the point where when you are growing synthetically, like you still could add the organics in it. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like They still got the crab meal. They got uh, earthworm casting. Yeah, yeah, like you, yeah. They still got stuff you can add in it. It's just all on what you know. You know what I'm saying? Like A lot of people don't know. Too like, much about that shit. Marijuana is the most filthiest plant in the world. They <laughs> everybody don't know that, but it's, everybody smoke it though. Mm-hmm. Like, they grow in bat shit, earthworm shit. Like they yeah. don't even know what you are smoking for marijuana. Like, you gotta do your research, <laughs> like to even know what's going on here. Yeah, man. That's when, I mean, but that's yeah. when you get a chance to like you know to be picky or when you could pay them top dollars <laughs> and shit like that. Like, no, <laughs> no, it's not even being picky or paying top dollar. It's taking the time to educate yourself. No, but it's true. Like, but what I'm saying, yeah. you're gonna get a lot of that good quality weed when you pay for it too. Like, oh well, yeah, true. Well, what I'm trying to say to that is when you get see these motherfucking twenty dollar eighths and shit like that and all that. <laughs> Man. It's that for a reason, man. For a reason. And it's for not because the motherfucker's like, hey, man, I'm the best dude in the world and I'm and I like you. Nah, yeah, right, man. Right. He's trying to off that shit. Right. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Now I got a good question from the chat, right? Now I don't know if any of y'all want to pick this up. Uh it says if people visit in DC, how um do they get weed? Is it the clubs or something? Oh no. DMA1 <laughs> underscore Doughboy. I got you. You ain't got to look Yo. for it. I'm pulling up. And I'm going to tell you, I'm giving you the tag number like an Uber. Yeah, That's I mean. one of the ways right there. There's some other ways. I mean, it's still. Um, I still haven't been to the dispensary yet. So I can't, you know what I'm saying? Really That's one way on to the dispensary. I'm right here. Y'all keep telling y'all looking for this. I'm right here. But um, for people visiting, up. look up we'll A1 Doughboy or... I got you, man. Or, like, I got like... You also have uh, uh, like Adams Morgan, U Street. Oh, yeah. Um, Reds, Reds. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want people to know where they can go at and eat too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, have, yeah. Grab you a jumbo slice of pizza. After I, you look, finish I will five. bring you the pizza. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, I will bring you the pizza. <laughs> look, yeah. delivery and everything. Yeah, I will bring you the pizza. So there you go. That's one. That's one. That's one answer right there. Hit a one, dope boy. Well, what you think? What you think? Uh, 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 uh. But nah, nah. On some real man. serious shit though. Uh, man, they do have a little, lot of little selections. But <clears throat> all you gotta do is just well, come on. I wouldn't need. I wouldn't need. You kind of right now. I wouldn't suggest those. Suggest uh, those live. What you say? Those live what? I'm not gonna say it like. I wouldn't no suggest those lately because I, if you're thinking about the pop ups, yeah, them no not, good right I, now. No, no, I wasn't saying no pop ups. Like you just, you just gonna have to, unless you, you talk about at any gas station, man. I promise yeah, you, you, you gonna find about, some gas. Unless man. you're talking about exclusive Chief Masters pop up only, because that's about the only safe one I could tell you to uh, <laughs> make reservations for. But all these other pop ups, man, you don't know if you might get uh, arrested, raided, or what. So be mindful of. of <laughs> Be in the middle of purchasing. Who uh, pop ups you visiting right. nowadays, man? Because we don't know who they. Well, I said with, a gas station. This should get a with. chance to run. Huh, man? Uh, <laughs> you mean a real you ain't gas block, station? Yeah, you ain't you ain't closed in. You know, you pull over the gas station, act yeah, like you about to go get a cigarette or two. I promise you gonna find some gas. And if you just uh, if you just looking to chill, man, like I said, you got places like Adams Morgan or uh, uh U Street. Uh, who else? What else you got out here? Listen Vision. Hey, you can yeah, always come to yeah, Listen Vision. Yeah. But That's I'm just saying, like, street. if you want to have a bite, like, go to the restaurant. These, these places I'm naming are, like, cannabis-friendly communities. So, 
You always see somebody walking around smoking on something or chilling. Uh, You're going to smell it in the air. Yeah, uh, for DuPont. Yeah, and the stores uh, cater to it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you yeah, if that's the environment you're no probable you're looking cause for, for smelling marijuana. I want y'all to know that. This shit is in the air. I got pulled over too many times. <laughs> Experience. Police officer asked me was my car still on. Police officer was my, was my car on fire. It was so smoky. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> they can't even fuck with you no more. Well, well, now they trying to do it where they, um, if they catch you smoking in public, they give you a salutation or some shit. Should they be walking? They be riding past me. You say what? A ticket. You get a $25 ticket and you got two weeks to pay A that $25 shit. ticket for smoking uh, weed. Oh, 75 Oh, 75 A regular Well, they fit. It's it's a fifteen hundred dollar ticket. You get caught driving smoking. I want you know all. I want y'all know that. God damn! I didn't yeah. know that. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's that, that's a DUI. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I, I didn't know that fifteen hundred. Hey, look, the police these, say, I and I believe that. I'm gonna weed. tell you why I believe that shit. Cause DC right now is making so yes. much money off of yes. fucking tickets. Whether it be camera tickets, light tickets. I owe 2300 uh, Now, salutation tickets for $75. <laughs> uh, whatever the fuck. Like, right. where the fuck is all this money going to, man? It ain't the potholes because they still out there on the street. To the they bands and they, 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 they Teslas and shit. Uh, it ain't our schools in the community because they still fucked up. They keep it that shit. The city what? The city cars. Uh-huh. Right, they they might they gonna need some fast because they get their ass burnt the <laughs> fuck up out here. I've been saying they ass get dog DC PG. I don't go out VA, so I don't know. <laughs> Shit, man. I mean, I don't know, man. Look, I I kind of I think our city took a turn for the better when we finally did legalize. They still fucking with some of us, but now they can't. Like you said, they but that's can't because really use that's because of the youngest. That's those the ones that want to be caught though. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be seen selling no, weed. It ain't even that they want to be caught. You know, they off some other shit, too, at the same time. And all types of fucking lanes and shit. You stay yeah. stuck. Yeah, but you got to think about it. Like, a lot of them don't even care no more. They whip the scale out at the, bu- at oh, the yeah, metro yeah, station. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, transit don't even play that shit. See I done that seen shit all day, A nigga man, weighing man. a half ounce. I mean, you weighing 14 grams out on the bench. This ain't two grams, three grams. You weighing a whole half ounce out on the bench hey, at the fucking subway station. Hey, nigga scale on you fast as shit out this month. Yeah, man, like a pistol. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. All you got to do yeah. is... You ain't got no skill. All you got to do is just turn around on the bus. One of y'all got skill. I guarantee you about 10 of them raising their now, let me, I got a question for the people out there. Um, and even if you don't get the answer tonight, answer it in the comments or whatever. Uh, uh, to all my D.C. residents, what are you doing with your uh, your harvest when, once you do harvest? Mm. Do you do you uh, smoke it? Do you sell it? Be honest. I don't give a fuck. I can not fuck about 12. I mean, telling nobody shit. But are, are you making edibles from it? Are you making lean? What are you, what are you, what are you, what is your reason for growing? What are you doing with your cannabis? That's my question. That's my question to anybody out there that can answer it or whatever, man. But uh, I don't know, man. What, what, what you think, man? What you think people out there doing with it? Oh, well, I can't speak for everybody, <laughs> but me, myself. I had no problem with getting off nothing I grew in the house. A lot of people was really purchasing what I was growing versus what I was buying off the streets. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had Reggie that I grew, and they didn't even know it was Reggie, and I was selling it to them as gas because I, 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 I did. I put my own, you know, ingredients into it. I actually I actually did that, too. Like, um, one time when I harvested, uh, one of my um, strains came out with all uh, seeds, so, you know, I classified it as Reggie. I couldn't sell it as pack no more. Exactly. Right? So um, I went on and sold it as Reggie, you know, properly so at the proper price or whatever, right? But a lot of people would hit me back and was like, man, what the fuck was that? Baby pack? Like, <laughs> I had gave my mother an ounce of Reggie I had grew. She bought it back to me. I never seen nobody bring nobody weed back to me. She said it was too strong for mm. me. Mm. So sometimes, man, some, if you're a good grower, sometimes you might, you, you'll end up with a better product. Oh, I mean, and I went to that you actually get I went to school streets. for two years for it, so you know I had to pay. I realized I had to struggle and go through like tasks and school prepping and real life for me to get where I am now. That's how I learned how to grow. And I and the guy who taught me how to grow perms was scientists. Right. 
Mm. So it's not like I. Where, where did you just, go to school? My fault. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Where I went to DC. School? I went to Let's Grow DC. Let, okay. When they first opened up, I went on Mass Roots and I found a little fly on it. They was like they teaching grow classes, I and I just Mass stuck Roots. with it and I kept going where I was going at, and they put me where I needed to be, and that's how I know the not. That's what I know the name. Shout out Let's Grow. Now somebody in chat says they like to uh, squish it into rosin, right? Now here's my thing with that, which I think about doing as I well. Mean, I know how to do that too. That's, yeah, that's no, but it. here's my thing. What, what is your, problem. what is anybody's <clears throat> expected return from a pound? A pound? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I, I'm gonna, scared you, of. You that's what I nothing. don't like. You don't get nothing but probably about like, but two, three ounces off that. Because you got to think even, about it. Even that. It takes seven grams to make one gram of wax. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, you're lucky if you even get what you just said. You know what I'm saying? So what, so what is the expected number if anybody knows? Because I'm not I'm not really that much in the rosins like that or press. I know the process. I know the concept. I, I definitely understand the concept of it because it's definitely clean medicine. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're getting it pressed out that way. But what is your expected return? Just like me, I'm a smoker. So sometimes I'll be like, damn, so you just gotta, that whole you had to just like You that. just have to do it like this. So it's, it's what, 28 grams in an ounce. Seven grams of gram, seven seven grams of flour will make one gram of wax. So that's what. Somebody four grams, it. four grams an ounce. So somebody pretty much saying right? twenty yeah. a twenty percent okay. return. So somebody pretty much what you probably saying yeah, like basically. a twenty twenty percent return. Basically, because you go, you got to think about it like that. Cause and then you, not, I'm not even gonna say that because it also depends on the density of the bud, the, the strain. Yeah, you the know strain, what I'm saying. Like I can't just say see, I can't just say four. You can get an extra. As I say, about two ounces. That's what I said. Two ounces tops, and that's on the that's on yeah, the top okay. end. I said two to three ounces. That's if you did something perfect. No, no, no. That's like the shit they grow in Amsterdam at the museum. Yeah. Like, the tourists, they're like, yeah. like, like I know that big bug, an uh, ounce of that big bug press out. Yeah. Like, now you really want to press out some rosin to make some money? Order some big bug seeds. I promise you, you're gonna get a good return. Huh. At least a 40 percent. That's what's up, man. I mean, that, and this is something that's definitely, I mean, I know everybody know dabbing and rods and out. It's been out for a while, but it's definitely done took off out here in the city like wildfire. Yeah, man. You know, we always get to it late, man. <laughs> we always get, we in a hole, well, man. It's the we laws, to, man. The petty, the petty politics shit. But man. it ain't even that, though. They were smoking that when I was watching it on uh, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I could go back. What's that? Black Planet? Oh, all right. I'm oh, just saying, shit. though. They, yeah, I could go Did all the way back. What? Black yeah, Planet. Man, man, that's like saying fucking um, MySpace and <laughs> exactly. shit, Exactly, right? yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's when they were smoking it back then. We ain't never know what they were smoking. We just was like... Dang. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. That's all we were saying until we got now, old. Like, now we like shit, nigga. Like, I'm trying to get a slab. Man, I don't want that right there. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get a slab. The prices. <laughs> now we can be picky. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now it's like if you a grower, as you see, fucking weed is everywhere, cannabis is everywhere. So if you the knowledge grower, is everywhere. Yep. Yeah. So if you are a grower, uh, it's best to get that knowledge that it's everywhere for sure. But be better. Uh, uh, when like, we giving it out for free? Grow some crafted cannabis, man. Grow some. Stand out from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what's better than free knowledge? Exactly. <laughs> shit. All right. Yeah. You can't even say money. You see, I was stuck for a second. Mm, like shit. Because knowledge bring you money, right? Right. So, uh, um, with that being said, though, because we've been like rambling like a motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I know, let me go ahead. We're gonna make some um, arrangements real quick. We're gonna take a two minute break through the song break, and we're gonna bring our next guest through and, and, and talking about some motherfucking art. Right. Girl Scout cookies. Indian dream. Kim doll. OG Kush. White Widow. Granddaddy Perm. Green Crack. Bubba Kush. AK 47. Train Wreck. Blue Cheese. Lemon Haze. Strawberry Crawl. Super Silver Haze. Blackberry Kush. Master Kush. Skywalker OG, God's gift, LA Confidential. Buckle your seatbelt, sit back, and enjoy the ride.
regular J. Uh-huh. This that super unleaded, watch me set it ablaze. Yeah. I don't even blame you niggas, y'all just set in y'all ways. Don't get jammed up and wake up with a tech in your face. This a marathon slim, don't get left in the race. Trump bitch ass, wanna see the death of my race. I'm a OG that G.O. So I was smelling like B.O. Make you slow, no Neo. Like the pop with my amigo. You can't blaze with our puff, nigga. You used to that huff, nigga. Lemon haze had them stuck, nigga. Baby lungs can't fuck with you. I'm in the building like fuck the system. I'm puffing ass and I'm a fucking menace. Cause I slumped the witness. When I smoke, don't get you high. So nigga, mind your fucking business. Slow down. My bad in high school, I was in high class. Graduated with a 3.5. Now the teachers buy my gas. Ride pass, 12, middle, finger erect. Fuck them. DC farmer got a new strain. So we gon' puff it. <laughs> Cheats. It's that DC Fama, that DC Fama, that DC Fama. DC Fama show. It's that DC Fama, that DC Fama, that DC Fama. Cheat. Used to get my piece from AZ. Uh, What's up, y'all? We back with um the nice guest, Mr. Never Special on IG. Please. What it do? What it do? What it do? It's your man Ab, Mr. Never Special. AKA Abnormal, Mr. Never Special on Instagram, Art by Abnormal. That's my art gallery on IG. What's up, y'all? Thanks for having me out. Man, not that, man. Thanks for coming through, for sure. Thanks for coming through. Uh, uh, real quick, though, shout out to Underground Organics shopping down at Blue Lotus, man. Hey, I hope that's some straight up fire for you, man. I want to find out, too, so let me know for sure. Yeah. But, um, you said you into the um, definitely in the art. I seen your artwork; it's beautiful. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah. I guess we could start with what we was just talking about, man. Since we was just talking about it, uh, like I said, people I, I drew before uh, my my co-host he does artwork. Uh, I, I like to think I like to think we look at sh- shit different or think differently or do our artwork. How do how do you get into deciding what you want to do or how get into your creative moment? Depend on how I feel and. Um, a lot of times I paint cartoon characters, so I try to find something that depict the mood. Mm, so mm-hmm. the char- uh, a lot of times the character and what um, I use that to define my. So film. it's actually like a reflection of the moment, yeah. time and shit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. actually, yeah, 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 definitely. Either it's me or somebody else. You know what I mean? Now, how you how you come up with what you come up with, man? Because I seen some of your artwork, man. That shit is yeah. Hell yeah. Irony, so like if uh, depending on what the, like uh, I have a painting where I had Sylvester, he got a gun to his head, but he's standing behind Pluto, you know, the dog, so. Yeah. yeah. But I call it, I got your back, because uh, I was having a conversation with somebody, and like, I got you, but like, you got to worry about yourself first. If you ain't straight, you can't help nobody mm-hmm. else, so like. That's, <laughs> that's like, the you truth. Know, so yeah. You can't take care of yourself, how you going to look out for somebody yeah, so. else, man? Yeah, I definitely took the hard way to realize it. I mean, I realized it, but yeah. I took some motherfucking, you know, falls and shit. <laughs> Everybody do. Yeah, man, but uh, so I, I I guess you would say sometimes your art is your reflection of your life. I like this one piece yeah. that you did. Um, now, I wanted to ask you on that. That Was that three different art pieces? Was the uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil one? Yeah, yeah. That's, no, that's all together. That, so that you commission did that all as one piece? Yeah, it was a commission for somebody. Cause oh so that was a commission piece that yeah, was dope. It's probably the last got four ones, money's worth. three or four ones is on my ground like commission piece. Like that shit looked like it needed to be in fucking yeah. somebody's office building shit. Like the first thing you that shit was appreciate nice. It. Appreciate it. And that uh that Buzz Bunny jump with the bamboo. 
Oh, he, oh yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Ain't nobody, a lot of people ain't even seen that. He right here. Yeah. He a fat nigga. He, I ain't know he was a, he a he big He pointed dude. it out to yeah, me, too. I, man, I like that. The Bugs Bunny joint. So he got an eye. So what we talk about, if you see the, if you know about the bamboo rolling paper, you know, he got, he did this right here. I would the say, it ain't this, but the concept is off of this, and it's Bugs Bunny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As the character. That, that shit sweet. was fire. I'm yeah. fucking with that jump. Yeah, yeah I ain't know. He a fat dude. Man. You look at him and shit. I ain't know. I saw a, like a whole picture of him. So my man, like, he like uh, helped me with, uh, with shit sometimes because he didn't know a lot about art. Right, he like, man, that joint look crazy. But I'm like, he a fat nigga. So I just changed the face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Being but that's right. different. I ain't never seen nothing like that, though. That, that's sure. real different with that jump. Thank you. Because like, yeah. a lot of people won't even pick up on that jump. They didn't. They're like, yeah. Because yeah. when I and seen And bamboo it, smokers didn't even. Right. Yeah, because I, no, once I seen his, you know what I'm saying, his little gesture and what he had on, I yeah, seen yeah, all this bamboo yeah. jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I seen it, though. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody <laughs> said they seen the picture. I don't know which one he talking about. You might know. He said he seen the picture on your IG. Um, I seen the picture today on the Instagram. The guys with his eyes shut. And is that the one I probably put up? Is that the one he probably talking about? Because I, I like that thing you have right there too when you see well, their eyes. All of them, them, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my thing. So yeah. all of them kind of, that's kind of like a thing you got going yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it's kind of yeah. hard to pick out exactly which one you talking yeah, about. Yeah, because that's all of them for the most part. Right. Like so I said, if I don't page, do it, man. Follow them. If art anything, by Ab Norm. Dope artwork on your fucking Instagram feed. It never hurts. For sure. So uh, uh, definitely look them up, follow them, man. I, man. Now, how did you get into it? Like, I mean, I know you got um, I had I a... Know. Well, I don't have any more. I started a music studio like four years ago. And um, from there, it's just uh, a thing I was doing. One time, my ex-wife and I, we were at a... Hold up, hold up. You said a music studio? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so... <laughs> My ex-wife and I, we were uh, we were out one day, and I didn't want to be hanging in a, a, a beauty supply store. So I went to the Michaels, and I used to draw and shit, all that shit back in the day. So yeah. I just got some art supplies and went home and started painting and shit. And then it just started from there. And then I was, because uh, I started decorating my studio with like other people's work. And um, it really wasn't in the budget to be buying it like I wanted right, to. So right. a few people that uh, uh, donated some work. So then I was painting at home, and then... Got into it and started doing it myself, and then people start coming in the studio, like start asking prices. So I just started throwing the price to them wow, and shit. Wow, wow! But so, so you, oh, yeah, I was just so it's kind of something that you kind of did to, to decorate your own space. I, I wouldn't say I just did it for for that reason. That it just just but you, you know, kind of started doing like, shit. Why I pay when I could yeah, kind of do it do type of deal, right? <laughs> no, not even just like it. I I I did it because I was like shit. I might I might as well because I was doing it. I didn't start because I wanted oh, to do it. Oh, so you studio. was already I just, doing it anyway before the, the music studio. I started, I started painting when I was young. Yeah, I mean drawing when I was young. Okay. You know, I didn't never start painting, right. so I stopped for a long ass time. And just so happened that one day I went into the art store and not in the beauty supply store and yeah. I I had the sketch pad, the canvas sketch pad, and I started that way. And then when I started buying canvas, uh, uh, then I was like, shit, I might as well start hanging my shit in there. And then yeah. that's how I was started and I just kept getting into it more and more. Yeah. See, and I can't paint room. for shit. I can't paint or color for shit. Down, I, I mean, people like say that, but they don't, I, that's, I don't think that's something that exists. Not I being think, able to, unless you're doing time, it, man. Yeah. unless you try to do it in a traditional sense, like you know what I mean, like super regular way. Like, you. but anybody, yeah. you, when you want to create something, you create it. So like, yeah. and then you just do the shit until it look good to your eye. Because uh, right. for real, once it look good to your eye, it, it's gonna be some people out there that might fuck with it anyway. But you can't, you know, you know, that's just like if you go to art school, it's a wrong way to do it. If yeah. you try to do portraits, right. right, you know what I mean, like anything outside of that, you do what the fuck you want to do. See, I, I can freehand the rock and shit off the top of the dome, and I'm, but I'm better with shit that's in front of me or shit that I'm so, looking at. Yeah, I, I me too. I think like that's that. how it is with most people sometimes. That's what I've learned. I think that's a super you, gift um, on top of that if you can do that without that, like, without yeah, you might be a little autistic or something, yeah. like not even trying to be funny. Are you yeah. self thought or self? Talk or no. did you like take art classes and stuff like that? I ain't that? take no classes, but I learn from other people as I go along. And then you know, you right. know, you get tips from seeing people do shit. You know what I mean, oh, stuff yeah. like that. And I already knew people that were artists. That's already uh, painting and shit like that. So I was hanging around dudes that that's really talented. So yeah. you know what I mean. That's another reason why I kept doing it because people that like you look at like you look at their work like damn they're really good. 
Yeah. And then they encourage you to keep doing it, so that's why I kept doing it. Nah, and, part I, of the I, and I know it's got to be a good feeling when someone yeah. actually buys one of your pieces, man. Like yeah. something that you actually enjoy creating, man. Yeah. You know sometimes I mean? you you don't, so, sometimes you don't want to part with it. Yeah. Oh, it gets that deep sometimes, huh? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's probably why art's so pricey, man. When you think about it, man, yeah, it it's is. more than just like it's more than just a picture. Yeah, like, man. A lot, a lot goes into it. Into it. A lot yeah, goes into it. Not man. all the times though, because sometimes. I seen a blue background with a white strip down the middle. It was ten million dollars. So like, so put that white strip down. Or like, uh, it's a it's a paint call. You look up on uh, called Polar Bear in the Snow. It's just a white paint. Now who, how white does that happen? It's a, uh, how does popular, that happen? Popularity. Pop just like the the and popularity I think of the person, buy, or okay. uh, or maybe the people that's buying it and that's endorsing you. I think okay. Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, that. Yeah, man, that, that, that do be crazy, man. It's one artist, man. I can't I'm remember his name. Like he know. just do like, like that. just take paint. He just do squiggly lines. Be throwing that shit on there. Yeah. Should be too many. Hey, you see that nice. joint he did? Sometimes yeah, that you know. shit looks sweet though. It depends. Yeah, hey, where, where your mind was at when you did that joint? Um, the Homer. Uh, that was commission. Uh, that was commission. So uh, somebody sent me a picture, of all uh, all the real characters together, and said, "Do your thing." So and that was just, it's called Dimension. Um, no, 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 no. That that one's called uh, Horror Husbands. Horror. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, real yeah. husband Hollywood type thing. I, Horror I, I, Husbands. Yeah, because yeah. basically, like all the cartoon characters that I picked, they like. They all fathers with their families, but it's like something fucked up about them in their own way. Because I was going to use that joint when I was putting the fly up, right? Yeah. But then I saw that other joint. That's I, how I Robbie, jumped out. I was like, oh, man, that Yeah, that's how Robbie was. found me on the ground. Shout out Robbie Fox. That's what Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Shout out to her too, yeah. man. Yeah, definitely, yeah, she man. Because cool. she definitely put me on to you, man. Um, SP the plug. Is it SP the plug? Or? Yeah, he talented and shit too. Yeah, man. man. Like, yeah. And then and from that, she had, what she did from from that point of view, I looked in um, hers, your page, SP, but and I also seen some other artists too, man. It's like I didn't know it was that deep, man. The art community, like, yeah, it's a lot of people that was some already ta- y'all, y'all among some talented individuals, man. Like, and, and everybody has their own little niche, you know what I'm saying? So, n- not everybody's trying to do what somebody else is doing, you know. Right. As far as y'all, you know, the art community goes. And it's like a new, it's like a man. DC is like a, what they call it, it's a, a new renaissance. A new renaissance? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. it's been, it's been long past due for it, man, because, you know, we got our, our sister city, Baltimore, and, you know, they are, they really, really in the art heavy, man, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's long overdue to represent some of our artists out here, and I done seen, man, yeah, man, I'm on you. And the other individuals, some talented individuals out here, man. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, sometimes the, the first question I ask me, like, man, how the hell do you think? Like, how did you even come up with that? You know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah, it's just, it's just uh, I try to, uh, what's the word? Iron, irony. You know what I'm saying? I try to make my shit ironic. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know. Because that's yeah. how you speak sometimes through your canvas, man. That's why I be curious, mm-hmm. man. Like, what the fuck? When people do something sometimes, like, sometimes I see people paint. I call it backwards. Cause you don't actually get to fucking know what the fuck it is until the artist is done and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, like, I don't, how did you even put that shit together like that in layers, man? Like, you seen it in your mind already. You already know what you're doing. Yeah, well, yeah, especially like somebody who make complex pieces and shit. That's just like it's not re- it's, it's abstract in its form, but you can still see the in- individual shit in the pictures. Yeah. So I think about that because my shit is a little bit more sim- simple sometimes. You know what I mean? But. Um, but, but it's man, just, it's just like it's like expressing yourself in any any kind of way. You know what I mean? Right. It's like I'm gonna figure out how to do it. Make it. You want to make it look good. You want people to look at it and think about it, but still understand it. And I, I want people to give uh, their interpretation of it before they ask me what it means. I I have a question. What's up? You could do an artwork of like like any anything. No. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, in my own interpretation of it, I, yeah, I can. I mean, I, it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's artwork. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything will work. You know what I'm so, if I give you a picture of me, you could do a picture of me? Yeah. A picture of you, that's, huh, man? That's all I wanted to know. You can turn yeah, the mic back yeah, on. Can, <laughs> Follow A1, though, boy. Yeah, I'm trying to get Yeah, I thought she was about, about to say some, like, some super bad, wild man. shit. I was like, no, nah, you know, people be lying. I that, 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 oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about all of me. Everything. Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything me. That be the weirdest shit though. Like when people yeah. want pictures of themselves. 
<laughs> I ain't, I, no, I ain't trying to be funny. No, no, I'm just saying, shit. like, no, no butt naked shit. I, I, I got so. <laughs> we, we were around right now, right? We we were talking all week. Right. Yeah. Man, man, man. man. That, that, so that's one of your weirdest. Like, how, what, 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 uh, other than that, like, what is the wildest things um, someone has asked you, you know, commission? Nobody Whatever. asked me ever. Nothing crazy. For real, though. Nah, nothing crazy. But what is the Not most common so thing you think? What would you say the most common thing people ask for? Themselves. Themselves, really? Like, to support your type deal? Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, you ask people, it's just like, you don't, uh, you tell, sometimes you tell people the price, then that be the end of the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. That happens a lot with a lot of different things. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, but, um, like, uh, what, what I was going to say, like, do you do you just paint or do you also draw as well? Like, sketch it first? I mean, yeah, like, like sketches like, and draw no, and I just stuff paint. like that. I okay. just sketch. Yeah, That's I don't, all I don't sketch. really uh, sketch. So, yeah, like, if you so wanted to build your own characters or, like, an addition of some of the... Then I'd probably be doing sketches. Then if I would like, yeah. trying to map something, I would, like... Right, right, yeah. right. I, then I would do sketches. Mm. Cause yeah, I think that's for real, like from what y'all doing and stuff like that, and the way um, animation is going and stuff like that, man. It's always a place for art, man. It's always a place for art, anyways, man. Cause yeah. it's fucking life be born without it, for real, for real. So I mean, um, what I, I don't know if you don't mind telling the people, man, uh, or, or what what was the most that someone ever paid for your artwork? Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred. Oh yeah. That's alright. I'd been like, fuck yeah. yeah well, uh, <laughs> that's that's alright. Like, Shout out my man. I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some that's people like saying. don't like to, uh, for people to know. Yeah, I understand. That's why I said if you don't mind yeah. telling, I understandably so. But you know, it, it keeping it real is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I could, under, I, I could imagine it's not an easy thing to actually to go in business for at the beginning unless you no. get a name for yourself, man. No, I, but I, yeah, yeah. But that wasn't even my plan. It's just something that shifted into that. You know what I mean? It's just like... And that, do you do events? Like uh, uh, galleries, events, and stuff like that to show off your work? Um, Because of Robbie, I'm, I'm the, this is the first time I've done a gallery installment. And um, I do art events, but I'm going to stop doing those because a lot of times you spend your money and I feel like I want to work until I'm invited into spaces. Right, right, I don't right. I keep paying my way into spaces. I done did that enough. Sometimes it's cool, but for the most part, I ended up selling a lot of my work uh, for less than what it's worth. So mm. you might as well just hold on to your shit, sell prints or something like that, or just, you know, chill so, until you get your weight up. So when you kind of get invited to an event, or let's say if you do get invited to an event, it's more likely to like present your work yeah. Or like a gallery format. Well, now, this is the you... first time I'm in a gallery now. I got three pieces in the gallery. Right. But before then, anytime I've been invited somewhere, it was just like as a, a vendor, just like anybody else. And do you ever paint live? I I have before. Right. I'm I'm not I'm not big on it because the process for me is not like that. Like I do a lot of layers. I like my right right. Real Everybody's clean. process different. Yeah. And then I do a lot of abstract shit, so I can't even do my work just this day in one sitting. There. And I make a, a big mess when That's I work right. anyway. You know, for most of my pieces. So for my shit to be enjoyable to watch, I would I don't really want to do a regular painting. Mm. I do it just right. because, but I would rather do some shit where you sit there and you watch. And you not really know what it is at first, and you gotta sit there and start trying to figure out. And then you step back and you look, and you're like, oh damn, that's fucking Homer Simpson, or oh, that's Quagmire. Mm -hmm. Like somebody walk past a piece and they sit there, look like, oh fuck, there's something in it. So I like that a little bit more than just a regular pain or something. And then it's just like you like everybody else, then <laughs> I don't like that, man. Yeah. But uh, we, I, I appreciate you coming through tonight, man. We getting to the end of it. Um, but before we leave, man, tell the people one more time because I like to stress it, man, how they can reach you. Um, for anything. On IG, Mr. Never Special, spelled the regular way. Art by Abnormal, spelled the regular way. IG, that's my art gallery. Mr. Never Special is my private page. So check me out. Appreciate you for having me out. Man, nah, I appreciate you coming through, man. And if anything, uh, people out there, people in chat, just follow his page just, just for a good feed, man. Like I said, a lot of these feeds be born. So if you want to see something interesting on your IG page every once in a while, 
It'll pop up if you follow him, man. So make sure you press that button, man. Appreciate you coming through tonight, man. And, uh, appreciate y'all, man. And I Thank check y'all, man. man. I appreciate your whole chat. And check y'all next week at the DC Farmer Show, man. I want to grow my own shit. It's that DC Farmer. That DC Farmer. That DC Farmer. DC Farmer Show. It's that DC Farmer. That DC Farmer. That DC Farmer.